Well, it's it's technically not in half. It's kind of like a like an awkward diagonal cut. So like his head comes off with one chunk, and then his legs and two other arms are on the other chunk. Damn, I guess he thinks with his head, and then he thinks with his other. I don't. Know. Yeah, <laughs> like, if he if he some oh. if if he somehow survived that, he'd have to use his two arms to walk. I feel so, <laughs> I feel so bad for the D class they tested this on. Ow! Oh ow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! All right. What so, are we? So, uh, when you wear the SpongeBob watch, oh, every no. time it laughs, your uh phallic bone. Uh, bones will grow six centimeters. Your what? Yeah, uh, P H A L A N X bones. Oh, phallic bones. Yeah, phallic bones. So, like the bones in your hands and feet. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Every time it laughs, it'll grow six centimeters. But once you take it oh, off, wait. you'll go back to normal. I d wait, I don't. I don't know if that's actually it. Can you spell it again? P H P H A L A N X. Phalanx. What are phalanx? Okay, yeah, that is what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's the phal the phalanges are the oh 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 god. Wait. Oh no. Oh, I just re Okay, so um it gets even Okay, worse. let's just read it. Let's just read it. But for reference, the f Yeah. I wait, are you sure it's the f Are you sure it's the phalanx bones cuz I'm seeing phalanges. I'm seeing uh it says P H A L A N X. Uh I don't think that exists. Maybe it's something they made up. Because, like, that spelling is phalanx, like the military position. Do they? Do you think they that that's a typo and they meant phalanges? Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, a phalanx. Atomically, any one of those bones in the fingers or toes. Okay, so it is just talking about the phalanges. Yeah, so it's just another way you say it. It's just not really used. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's the Latin for them. I just realized. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at the. I, I, I look up uh, phalanges and the Latin for it is phalanx. So uh, I'm not going to. Uh, so you want me to read this SAP even though it's not a keter? Oh, it's. It's not a keter? No, it's it's safe. I I don't basically how? Okay, basically how no. you revert the person back to normal, you have to turn the clock backwards and it'll slowly go back to normal. Okay, you know what? You know what? You've you've hooked me. I wanna hear what the fuck this does. Go ahead. Alright. It ain't getting ranked, but go ahead. SCP-1808 is a collective designation of six yellow plastic wristwatches decorated with green polka dots and images of SpongeBob SquarePants, a popular cartoon character from the children's television series of the same name. Thank, SCP thanks for thanks thanks for the ex thanks for the explanation on what SpongeBob is, Internet people. <laughs> I really needed to figure that out. I didn't know what SpongeBob was. Shut, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't. SCP. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you call me old. You used to call me old man. I asked it, uh, Pika if one of like the things he was referring to referring to was a, a, a plankton quote. Yeah, I know what SpongeBob is. Yeah. Anyway, SCB-1808 operates and is powered via anomalous means. As all watches function normally, despite the apparent removal of all interior mech. Mechanical components. SCP 1808's main anomalous properties manifest when it is worn by a human being or any other creature possessing limbs and phalanx bones. Once affixed to a subject, SCP 1808 will, can only be removed by the, the individual who originally fastened it. Every quarter hour, SCP 1808 will play a soundbite of this 
of the SpongeBob character's distinct laugh, and the distal and intermediate and proximal phalanges of the limb upon which SCP-1808 is worn will grow in length by approximately Wait. six centimeters. Wait, back up. Phalanges? How is it spelled? P H A L A N G E S. That's phalanges. <laughs> Shut up. Right. God up. damn it, right. I <laughs> just it, please said, learn how to read. I just said that word in reference to these bones multiple times. Shut I, up. Can we can we put Bright into like a kindergarten reading class? I'm gonna end all of you. They would I, I siphon all of the brain cells away from the other kindergartners. <laughs> Shush. Anyway, I'll co I'll continue. <laughs> the growth will continue every quarter hour hour until either SP-1808 is removed from the subject or SCP's 1808's adjustment knob is retracted, halting the watch's timekeeping functions. Subjects experience little to no blood loss when the palin phalanges... Uh, oh Jesus! Penetrate phalanges. the uh, phalanges. Uh, when the phalanges penetrate the subject's flesh, however, afflicted individuals have reported the growth to be immensely painful. Bro, you don't have to say it like that. SCP. You don't have, you don't have to say it like penetrates the, the subject's flesh. Author. <laughs> no, they're in. They they write uh, certain fan fictions that I cannot mention. Silence. Shush. I didn't mention them. Shush. You mentioned you by. I. <laughs> right. Please, nineteen eighty four. The child. Oh, I no. wish to live. Please, my Dragon, lungs. Shush. Please. Anyway, let me just finish the SCP. When SCP eighteen oh eight's adjustment knob is retracted and rotated clockwise. The hands on the watch rotate accordingly, resulting in accelerated uh, plangeal growth. Rotating the knob in the opposite direction reverses the growth process. If the process is completely reversed, the bones will cease shortening once returned to their original length, and the areas of flesh damaged by the, the protruding uh, phalanx bones it will be instantly healed. Subjects who have who have the effects reversed and this way bear no evidence of the previous physical trauma, although any psychological trauma resulting from the experience will be retained. If two instances of SCP-1808 SCP are fastened together and placed around a subject's neck, the subject's teeth lengthen in a similar manner. Why did they test that? Oh, <laughs> why did they test that? The I must know. Oh God, does that mean that it'll do it to the toes as well? Yep. Also, there is what? a question. Do you think SpongeBob has dental care? What'd and you say? I think uh, SpongeBob has dental care. I I don't I don't fucking know. Has he Maybe got some, he got some big teeth, so you think? Ma you know what? You know what? New head cannon, SpongeBob. There's, there's like a hospital in Bikini Bottom, and when he needs his teeth checked up, he just goes there, opens his mouth, and a cleaner ass uh, just just goes into his mouth and checks on his teeth. One thing is, if this was a Keter, we would put it in a what-the-fuck tier. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Easy. <laughs> this is an easy what-the-fuck tier. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the fact that the it's... foundation tested the neck... Like, why? Why? <laughs> what is the logical sequencing of thought processes that would lead to you thinking, okay, so we have these watches. They play an annoying sound bite every little while. And every time they do that, they make a person's hands and bones in their hands. They grow and then they splinter off and pierce through their skin. It's. It's awfully traumatic. And it's then when we take them off, it stops, and then you just turn it back, and they're, they're fine. I mean, they're they they, they they're traumatized, but they're fine. Uh, this... Yeah, let's put that on the person's neck. No, this just, sound, this just sounds like, um, like, just fucking a, a regular SpongeBob episode. I don't know what y'all are up 
like talking about. This does not sound like a regular SpongeBob oh, episode. There's one thing you have I want to say. There's actually one thing I didn't know it was an Easter egg in the one SpongeBob episode that got banned in multiple countries. Uh-oh. It's a, it's this uh, place that has a bunch of doors that lead to alternate universes. There's oh, one yes, door that that shows Squidward auto homicide. That, like they don't show him dying or anything, but it shows his face. And I I thought that was kind of cool. That sounds like a dumb creepy pasta. Is this completely confirmed? Oh no no they do actually show it in an episode. Yeah, they actually do so- show in the ep- actual episode. I don't know what the episode is. But whatever. I have a very huh? I have a very important question, friends. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm choosing one of the uh horror movie villains to take through Mortal Kombat next. Uh should I choose Alien? Jason, Predator, or Leatherface? Alien. Alien. I will remind you that Leatherface has a chainsaw. Alien. I like Alien better. Okay. (laughs) I I like Alien's design better. Okay. Uh, Alien, and I get to choose uh, between three uh, variations for combat styles, should I d- go Tarkadin gains chop chop blade spin and attacks utilizing Tarkadin blades? Should I choose Acidic gains exo sting and acid blood? And uh, the last one is Conjurer gains o- Ovomorph and Drone Drop. It basically gives me the ability to drop giant eggs and then have people suddenly get a face hugger on them. Egg. Egg. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? <laughs> Did you want me to fail, don't you? Yes. yes. I mean like I mean come on, I described there's there's a move called chop chop. Yeah, Why but don't the you... eggs are funnier. Yeah. But blade spin. Eggs are funnier. Get to egging. What uh, don't don't <laughs> say that. Go on, egg boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's actually get to there the are, actual Keter SCP. <laughs> there are very few things that I would not do to you two. <laughs> you don't want to be referred to as Egg Boy? What do you think? <laughs> what kind of... What? I... Everything about that nickname makes me viscerally uncomfortable. <laughs> I also well, just to... I also just realized that the alien has six fingers. But yeah, two, but that's, that's what two think. but two but two pairs of them are like like fused together on this on this model. I have Please. done nothing. You fucking <laughs> <laughs> is, is your uh, nickname referred are you referred to as Egg Boy now? No, I'm not Egg Boy. Yeah. Oh, I, I am. <laughs> I am Egg Boy. I mean, okay, look, I am a penguin, and I, uh, penguins do lay eggs, but I do not wish to refer- be referred to as Egg Boy. Well, you know what? Karma's a bitch, Egg Boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's actually get to the actual Keter SCP. And you know what? As my opponent for my training, I'm going to choose the other alien in the roster, Predator. Nice. Isn't that a movie? Yes. Yeah, these are all characters from movies. Wait, yes. not the Egg Boy Egg thing. Boy. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Egg Boy versus uh. Doesn't actually, if I remember correctly, doesn't in the Predator movies doesn't he spare a lady because she turns out to be pregnant? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. uh, I think also, uh, Egg Boy versus Frying Pan. <laughs> oh my god, instead of kicks, the alien hits people with his tail. <laughs> oh he god, doesn't really... kick. Also, do the aliens have pronouns? I don't fuck I don't think I don't think the xenomorphs have Hair. genders. 
<laughs> or even care yeah, like, if they do. Yeah. <laughs> like if they do, okay. then they should let us know. We should we should they should let us know what their pronouns are if they do. Actually there is a comic. A Wait, hold on. There is a canon comic where there's an xenomorph that actually helps humans wears a fake mustache and smokes cigars. Yeah, because they don't they have like at least like human like basic human knowledge or like Oh, it's not that they have basic human knowledge inherently. The, uh, actually the thing that I think makes them so interesting as a creature, even though I've never actually seen the alien movies, is that they basically create an actual reason as to why the aliens are so humanoid, even though actual aliens wouldn't be humanoid at all. It's because they are quite literally, like, human alien hybrids when they uh do the whole face hugger thing they take on a significant amount of human dna and become hybrids of humans and aliens so all the xenomorphs you see so all the xenomorphs you see are actually human hybrids they had to they they suck sucked on the human dna and were like yes i would like to i would like one human dna please that's not what they do, child. I can't find a picture he where he mind. has a fake mustache on, but I did find the one where he is smoking a cigar. Oh, God. You don't want to well go suck suck on that... some human DNA? Well, no, they don't go suck mm-hmm. suck on human DNA. They attach a face hugger to your chest and then have an alien creature get birthed out of your chest. Yeah, that's close enough. No, it's not. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bright sending me something. The question should be, what is not wrong with me? God damn it. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I just got JFK'd. Uh, anyway. Well, let's... then, well, if you just got JFK'd, then don't worry. Your killer's going to get shot by someone locally soon. Anyway, let's actually get back to what we were supposed I to be got doing. Ran over by a car. Uh, I don't oh, care. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's adorable. Shush. Aww. Let's get on to the next SCP, please. All right. Next SCP is SCP-1801, aka Sharing Sickness. I shared a picture of it in uh, stream planning. It, the like the caution sign with a little jar in it. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like a virus dish. Oh my god! One of my attacks just immediately makes me bite its face with my tongue. Oh, for f- yeah. oh Jesus! I gotta be careful when reading this one, cause I just see oh, no. it's uh special containment procedures. There's two ways it can be transmitted: by blood or the other way. By blood or the Humans other way. Talking. It's. It's not an issue to say STIs, Bright. Oh, uh, well, it didn't. It doesn't say STI. Well, that's yeah, but that's I what it's say that. implying. Yeah, blood to blood or STI. I won't say what it actually said, because child. <laughs> Human DNA? What are you talking about? Go to your room. Yes. I'm in my room. Well, go Bright. out of your room, my then go back in idea. your it's room really again. Cool, you know what? Bright, 1984, the child. Also, 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 I should technically be asleep. All right, pay me five dollars. But I still no. <laughs> That's why I'm not asleep right now. What anyway, the fuck did you? Asleep. What the fuck did you say coming back in, child? Uh, I slept, but um, technically I would be asleep by now. But I slept a good majority of the day because I had a really bad headache and still kind of do. Uh, so yeah, I am still here. Anyway, see. on to the next SCP. So, shush, child. Right. SCP-1801 is a contagious syndrome that appears to be transmissible, transmissible through a complex of agents that, in isolation, show no anomalous properties. To date, Foundation researchers have identified the components of SCP-1801 to include redacted bacterial agents, redacted viral agents, and redacted prions. All, all these agents are 
well known and documented in their effects outside their participation in an SCP-1801 infection. When they're participating in, in a, a SCP-1801 infection, their normal epidemiology and symptomatology are no longer a, appear to apply. Symptoms of SCP-1801 infection are very based on the vector of the infection and whether the infected individual has subsequently infected anyone else with SCP-1801. There are three classes of infectee. The Dash-1, an individual who has become infected with SCP-1801 through the contact with SCP-1801-2 or via redacted, becomes SCP-1801-1. Despite hosting several strains of bacteria and virus that normally lead to fatal infections, SCP-1801 will remain apparently healthy and asymptomatic until inf infecting other in individuals with SCP-1801. Dash 2. An individual who becomes infected with SCP-1801 through contact with Dash 1 or Dash 3 will become Dash 2. Within 24 hours of, of infection, Dash 2 will begin sh showing signs similar to an active infection by uh, staph Staphylococcus uh, aorus or Clostridium perfinogens. And don't worry, I'll copy the words and post them in Discord. I just put a face hugger on Predator. Yeah. Alright. There, I actually put the actual na Latin names down in stream planning. Alright. However, I'm Brian sorry. I'm, oh. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I would go look at it, but I'm having too much fun knocking over the Predator with face huggers. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> however, rather than liquefaction and necrosis, the infected tissues vanish completely. Blood loss is minimal as blood vessels close off as tissue disappears. Because of this, the victim does not suffer from toxemia or shock and can survive much longer than typical for such a tissue destroying infection. Usually, until vital neural or organ tissue is infected. Yeah, in dash three, once SB eight, uh, once dash one has passed on SB eighteen oh one to at least one other person, dash one will cease becoming asymptomatic and begin transition to become dash three. Dash three will begin showing the onset of a regular, mature, teratomas. The onset of these teratomas will correspond with the onset of symptoms in, dash, in the Dash 2 that was infected before the transition. Mass and rate of growth of teratomas in, in Dash 3 will correspond to the mass and rate of tissue destruction in Dash 2. The rate of growth of tumors may accelerate if Dash 3 infects new individuals with SCP-1801. In this instance, mass and rate of growth in, of teratomas in Dash 3 will correspond to the collective mass and rate of tissue destruction in all instances of Dash 2 so infected. Genetic tests on teratomas show genetic material from Dash 2 rather than from, from Dash 3. Despite this, no incidence of tissue rejection has been observed. Teratomas growing on Dash 3 show a much higher incidence of complex organ development that than is typical. In addition to eyes, teeth, and hair, there have been observed a complete kidney, a lung, and a complete left hand, showing some independent movement, a tongue, a redacted. While these growths appear random, they interlink with each other and in advanced cases show a circulatory endocrine redacted symptoms parallel and independent of SB 1801-3's original anatomy. Dash 3 generally survives until tumor growth constructs normal organ functioning. 
In cases where all associated dash two have expired before dash three's tumors have become light threatening in size, tumor growth will cease and dash three may survive indefinitely before infecting a new dash two and tumor growth resumes. Hmm. Why is Hatchet's little bubble lighting up green and then stopping? Don't worry about it. So I'm yeah. guessing it might be it might be occasionally picking up the sounds of me ripping Predator's face off. But just <laughs> oh. not coming all the way through. So yeah, uh that's SCP eighteen oh one. I'm about to beat a cat at a card game. No one cares. I'm I'm no. I'm sorry to say this, Bright. But I was way too focused on on ripping Predator's face off. I have no fucking clue what you said. Wow, Hatchet. I apologize. It's, um, All right, I guess I can summarize it. Uh, yeah. Stage one, the the virus and bacteria become asymptomatic until going. And infecting another individual, which will become stage two, where they will go uh, liquefaction and necrosis in the infected tissues, but uh, blood loss is minimal as blood vessels close off as tissue disappears. Hmm. And in dash, dash three, uh, they will literally grow tumors that will yeah that, that, that will grow in a complex organ development that, that is typical in addition to eyes, teeth, and hair there have been observed a complete kidney a lung, a complete left hand showing some independent movement, a tongue a redacted and while these growths appear random they interlink with each other and in Vince cases show a circulatory Endocrine redactive systems parallel and independent of SCP's SCP 1801 3's original an anatomy. Mm. Hmm. Well, how does it mention how it spread? Uh, Did you say blood to blood or STI? I think in that case, it's basically just a really weird, fucky version of, like, hepatitis. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's about as dangerous as hepatitis. So where would we put hepatitis? <laughs> wow. Where do we um, rank hepatitis rank on the hepatitis. SCP ranking list? So what are the other what are the like what are the like things on it again? The list, I mean. On the list? What yeah. list? Yeah, oh. list out our tiers, Bright. ZK class reality ending, XK class world ending, world changing, continent, country, city, certain group, only one, spoo tier, what the fuck, and reassign. Hmm. It doesn't. This doesn't kill the person, does it? Oh no, they'll eventually die. They will eventually die from it. Yeah. Mm. You, you could say city potentially. Mm. Probably wouldn't spread that far. So maybe certain group. Or I'm feeling a slight urge to put it in what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, now reading this, it it slowly it it's, it slowly starts to look like a ripoff version of six ten. <laughs> How so? Because six ten has that. six ten has shown to have people grow uh more limbs or other heads that they didn't have when fully transformed. Oh, yeah, but like this is a complete like this is completely different from six ten. Yeah. 
That's why I said rip-off version. Then it wouldn't be a rip-off. It's a completely oh. different idea. Alright, whatever. Oh yeah, Brooklyn um, says, I was going to say yeah. country because past experience with pandemics and human behavior. Yeah, at the very least... Uh, mm. Yeah, but at the same time, like, again, we're talking about, like, something that doesn't spread as easily as something like COVID. Mm -hmm. Like, with blood yeah, to blood and saying. STIs. Yeah, like... That's that's I, why I, that's why I said kidding. either what the fuck or certain group. Mm, I would I think city, city would be city could work. I city think could work too because yeah I think city would be appropriate because I feel like this stuff left unchecked would probably have the potential of basically affecting a city's worth of people. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not going to go right. into which city's worth because that can get exponentially bad, but. A city's worth mm -hmm. of people. Washington, like, D.C. I mean, that has a pretty... That, that's not even a that mega a city. Pretty, yeah, like, that has a you, pretty low number of people. Yeah, you know what? Like, uh, Adorna, if you, if you, if anyone knows the answer to this, uh, let, uh, ask me. Bright, how many people do you think live in the single city of Mexico City? Five people. Give an actual guess. Right. Give, an actual <laughs> Give an actual guess. Actual guess. Uh, I don't... I, 15,000? 10 million. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna guess like around like 10 to 5, five to 10 million. Oh, book one. <laughs> yeah, uh, like... Maybe 15. It, to like... put that into perspective, that means that uh, there is one... Like, the amount of people that live in Mexico City is probably uh actually oh yeah and also I'm, I'm also to put into this perspective to uh ha, oh yeah right fuck um are you, are you okay <laughs> brain just yeah I was thinking about something else and my brain like didn't like have the names so, like it's it's right. it, um, it sounded like so, you ran right. through three different names <laughs> yes I did, did I actual actually but uh. so right so you said ten thousand right yeah um that, that's about as many people as my as a small town my uh my college is based at uh probably just barely more so this makes me curious how many people live in this makes me sad to tokyo population a donor's brain fiercely flipping through the phone book in their brain what Aderna? The phone book? Oh no, not pollution. Population. Goddamn autocorrect. Alright. Also, I was I was gonna the phone book? Oh. Yeah, I have uh, Oh fuck, Tokyo's yeah, more. So... Tokyo's almost fourteen oh, yeah. million. Yeah, that makes sense. Well like if you think about it, like Mexico City has yeah, has a less dense population and Mexico ha like because I it's think Mexico is like a little bit more spread out. It's it's yeah, less it, like yeah. They've they've got a more spread out population and they have a lower overall income rate to help support that many people in a single location. Yeah. But you gotta keep in mind, like a mm -hmm. very large portion of Mexico City are uh what are they called? Um shanty towns. Like they're basically just oh. homemade towns where people end up living in these uh barely maintained structures. Oh anyway. Anyway, uh, like I was gonna say, when I was about to see the nickname with the next SCP, I see two other nicknames. One sounds really bad. The other just so it sounds fully funny. The first one is Darkness is only skin deep. 
Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, Wait. Um, okay. Okay, we could try to Okay, uh, let's, let's take that it let's let's try to li let's listen to that and take it in the best possible way you could given the 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 way that it sounds to be talking about races. Um the best oh, thing you could I'm I wasn't even thinking that. So okay. Yeah, the the best way you could interpret that is like weird liberal like white liberal uh identity politics where it's like the darkness is only skin deep. We're all the same inside, but it doesn't come across like that because you just said the darkness is skin deep. That is the best way you could take that. Let's let's what what's what's the other one, Bright? Uh, the other one, which I find funny, I don't want to go back to it. Is I feel homesick for a place I'm not even sure exists. Okay. <laughs> I don't see how those two nicknames are at all connected. Oh, I know. I just said one sounds really bad and one sounds funny. I know, but that's my point. I'm, I'm, I'm making the note that these sound very diverged. In the same way that, like, it, like when you first read Jurassic Park, you then immediately mentioned that the MTF unit that goes after the ghost, uh, the the possessed vehicles, mm -hmm. is named Ghostbusters. But we didn't know that it was like about ghost vehicles yet. So it was just like, yeah, this one's called uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, the MTF unit that goes after them are Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I like I decided to look inside a dark one. Basically, uh, inside the dark one, um, <laughs> Josh, you know what I meant. Anyway, I decided to see what it was about. Apparently, it's a condition from 14, uh, four, ages of four to 13 year old children will have where they will, or with very or light, like very visible light, even the smallest part of it can get them sunburn. But mm. the thing is. They all have a fear of the dark. Oh. Nightlight? Mm. I, they... They'll get sunburn from it, child. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's a double whammy. Also, I'm That's trying... Okay. awful. Yeah. I, yeah. I got my minecraft steve lego helmet stuck on my minecraft lego steve so i keep right. the last recipe i'm going to say that's a funny nickname for because i accidentally saw it when i was scrolling down uh its nickname is bob oh bob. why do i feel like bob's a war criminal <laughs> i might know what bob is it's a food catering truck oh bob's a war criminal Oh, wait, it's a Keter. Wait, talking? wait, no. Bob is a Keter, so we're eventually going to talk about Bob. Uh, that's a war cool. criminal. Anyway. Silence, child. Wait, stop the presses. I currently have 50,666 anomalies. Stop we did it, folks. Stop the presses. I ha got the... the wait, you actually have 50,000? Yeah, I have 50k. How did you? Oh wait, that's not as much as I decided to look at the final things. I thought, I thought it was something else. Never mind. Wait, you are you confusing fifty k with fucking fifty <laughs> five hundred k with a million with two million with four million? Do you know how numbers work, Bright? <laughs> Shush. Anyway, um, I have to go to the bed. The answer is no. Okay. Good night. Dragon. Goodbye, child. All Good right. night. Wait. Oh fuck. God damn it. The next SCP. Oh, yeah, oh. Sorry, real quick before we continue. Aderna, did you see the uh, CAH Fun Time channel that Bright made me? Mm -hmm. Well, it's for anyone who wants to post yeah. pictures. Yeah, but uh, it was made at my request. Did you see the most recent thing that I decided to add to the fish deck? Uh, nope. It's at the bottom of that. Just just go take go take a look real quick. I caved and decided to add glub glub. 
but I edited Glub Glub. Oh yeah, with, uh, with the <laughs> I think I, 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 yeah. I think I love when messages under it though. Yeah, literally or metaphorically, <laughs> me. Fuck you. Literally or metaphorically, <laughs> cease. <laughs> 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 but yeah, how do you like how I'm making my cards? It's nice. The 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 like the the colors for the font could be better for some of them. I'm, yeah, I could guess as like much. I, like for some of them I can't see. Yeah. The manta ray one I can see pretty well. The grouper is somewhat okay. Uh, deep blue, I can see well. Blue old shark, I can see well. Playco has a little bit of problems I could potentially see. Big man train, I can see well. Cod, see well. Shark, see well. I'm guessing the, the main shark marine works better. well. I just realized Marine Beta is kind of kind of blends in with the background a bit. Yeah, Marine Beta and then Fuck Bright; those are the ones that like would are pro probably work the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I shall keep that in mind. Let's get on to the SCPs. And Sea Lamprey is probably like, well, like it works. Except for like the end of it, but a little bit. Mm. Anyway, uh, the next SCP is extra extra lunar mean. But yeah, to be or sorry, just real quick. To be clear, the main reason why I have that there is so that at the very least I can tell what it is, so I don't have to remember every single fish. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'll try to improve that. Yeah, go ahead, Bright. All right. So, or should uh, I continue talking about fish? No. Uh, can you guys take a picture? Uh, look <laughs> at that picture real quick. <sighs> Stream planning. What the? F is, that, is that a plaster just... cast in space? <laughs> See, that just a... looks like part. That just looks like they took a picture of the moon and just put it randomly. Okay, here's the thing, Hatchet, uh, Derna. That's a memetic hazard I just introduced you guys with. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. I would give a shit if memetic hazards were real. If they were mm -hmm. real, that would be terrifying. Well, I guess technically Trump might be one. <laughs> anyway, let's actually <laughs> uh, let's actually see why this is a keeper. It, it feels if it, it it feels like every time he opens his mouth, my brain cells die. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, SCP eighteen twelve is believed to be an irregularly shaped asteroid orbiting Earth at a distance of approximately 108 uh, kilometers. SCP-1812 is approximately 8 kilometers in diameter at its widest point, and it has an unusually high density of 670 grams centimeters cubed. SCP-1812 is believed to have been captured by Earth's gravity approximately 3.2 billion years ago. SCP-1812 is in a retrograde orbit around the Earth, traveling at a rate of approximately 90 minutes per each orbit, although only 1 437th of the diameter of the Moon. SCP-1812 appears much larger in comparison due to the shorter distance between it and Earth. Depending on the angle of the solar light relative to, to SCP-1812, it goes through several phases, similar to the Earth's moon. SCP-1812 is a subject to a memetic phenomenon where it is capable of being observed by sentient individuals unless an individual announces the presence of SCP-1812 either verbally or 
legibly and indicates it in some way, such as circling it in a photograph or pointing out its location with a hand gesture. Oh, then never mind, we're fine. That picture wouldn't hurt us. <laughs> you know, if you're going to try to kill us, you could at least not botch it immediately. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Exactly. It's like that one story about that guy who tried to assassinate uh, Andrew Jackson. Walks up to him, pulls out his pistol, the gun jams. But don't worry, he has a secondary pistol. Pulls out his second pistol, the gun jams. He's beaten within an inch of his life by the president. Yeah. You could you could maybe not do that. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Yeah. The exact area indicated in it is inconsequential. SCP-1812 can be viewed at several different locations in the sky by several different individuals, even in daylight conditions. The existence of SCP-1812 is dubious. Measurements of the spa space that SCP-1812 theoretically should occupy sh show only empty space. However, the same measurements when formed by a person aware of SCP-1812 seemingly show the existence of the object. For the purposes of this document, it is assumed that SCP-1812 does not ex indeed exist. Those who are aware of the existence of SCP-1812 will perceive several differences in the environment around them. For example, once an individual is aware of SCP-1812, they will, will be able to perceive light reflected off of it by the sun, Increasing their night vision during times when SCP-1812 is visible. The most prominent effect, however, concerns tidal cycles and SCP-12's effect on them. SCP-1812 exerts a gravitational pull on the Earth similar to, but weaker than the moon's. However, this pull, combined with the moon's natural attraction, causes more severe tidal cycles, leading to those affected by SCP-1812. 1812, perceiving that sea levels are approximately redacted meters lower than the norm at low tide, and up to redacted meters at high tide, and that approximately 85% of the coastlines and most islands around the world have been flooded. Persons entering affected areas by any means move as if those affected by unseen li liquid, usually starting about redacted kilometers inland of the of the actual start of the water cycle, water line. Subjects are incapable of swimming through this liquid and have great difficulty moving, indicating that the liquid has a higher viscosity than the water. At, at the point where individuals affected by SB 1812 had the liquid going above their head, they have been suffocating and undergo severe hypoxia, essentially drowning on dry land. This can be prevented through use of breathing apparatuses such as scuba tanks. Also, volcanic activity is perceived to increase with minor eruptions from several volcanic sites occurring frequently and rarely results in death due to volcanic activity. And there you go. How? Oh. I. Earth has two moons now. That's not what it is, Bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. This is a what the fuck. <laughs> it's... it's. Rip that one oh, person who died from the fake volcano. Yeah. Right? It's it's not it's not a moon, it's a satellite. It's another yeah. satellite. Because that's why we Yeah. Moon, I mean technically the like, moon is also a satellite, one, but it's just a really, really yeah, the big moon's satellite. Also a satellite. Yeah, the moon's it, also a satellite. But like there is called a moon because of like the properties oh, no. involved okay. with it. <sighs> I, I just read what the Foundation tried to well, do right. to uh, see if they could try and, and cure the people of this meme. When they um. when they tried to, they developed severe nyctophobia, which is a fear of the dark. God damn it. Oh. 
Oh my. <laughs> so, no, you cannot be cured. <laughs> Yeah, hey. this is. Hey, it's a fear I have. Hey, I already have somewhat of a fear over the dark, so. Yeah, me. This is just. <laughs> this is. This is just an easy what the fuck. Yeah, I, I don't even. <laughs> what? what do... Why is it a keeter and. What do we do with it? Because well, no, they... it's, you it's, can't... it's obvious why it's a keeter. They the can't keter... contain it. Right. You can't contain a satellite. Uh, well, or actually, I guess that's the thing. Like, this could be potentially devastating. Because, like, what if enough people in a city that's coastal saw, saw the asteroid? Then uh. pretty much all of those people end up Drowning on dry land. Well, you also get night vision. Oh my. You don't get night vision. Well, they say it's, oh. They call it night vision, but what they're talking it about increases, is literally just, so it increases your night vision. It increases your it ability increases to your see at night. night. It increases that vision, but the way that it's described is as if it is a. Uh, as if it is uh like moonlight because it's basically a second moon in how it acts it would be like moonlight right it specifically says like when it would be visible in the sky is there yeah. a compulsion to go into the unseen no the uh it doesn't say that there's a compulsion to go into the unseen water it's just dangerous because so, the person perceives go ahead so so hatch hmm? there's an easy way to fix this just point at it and just point at it and say say oh there it is there's whatever the fuck it is there you're done you don't have to worry yeah, about crowding well, they anymore. did say verbally, yeah, like if you like, shout it out, it would it it would cease its effect. Oh, did it? Yeah, like if you point it out, show a picture of it, or circle it around or anything like that, you'll no longer fall under its effect. Like in that time, or just until the end. Uh, like for tell the tell the end of uh, end of days of your of your life, like you will no longer be affected, basically. Okay, yeah, never mind. This is just a what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I had missed that part. <laughs> yeah, this is just what the fuck. All right, next. I. All right, uh, next SCP. Let's see what it is. It. All right, it is rock in a hard place. And let me get a pic the picture that I was given. There you go. Loading. Is that a hurricane? Uh, no, those are like, no, maybe it's a whirlpool. No, it lo looks like a whirlpool. Yeah, I real yeah, I realized like after I said that that hurricane. those look like waves. Well, yeah. hold on, I can I I can clear that for you, Hatchet. SCB eighteen twenty three is an autonomous and self sustaining migratory whirlpool. Definitely a hurricane. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's definitely a hurricane. I'm convinced. Anyway. Oh my god. The dimensions of the whirlpool vary between approximately one kilometer and four kilometers in diameter, with current speeds of 100 to 170 kilometers per hour. SB-1823 is capable of traveling at a maximum observed speed of 30 knots, and often moves contrary to present oceanic currents or conditions. There is no observed pattern to SB-1823's path, Though it appears to avoid areas with depths of 500 meters or less, 
If, however, any naval vehicle occupied by one or more human approaches within 70 to 300 kilometers of the anomaly, it will actively target that vessel if SB-1823 does not track airborne. Oh, wait. SB-1823 does not track airborne vehicles. SB-1823 was discovered on Redacted in the North northern Atlantic Ocean, approximately Redacted kilometers from the coast of Norway. Okay, now I'm fine with it. I'm fine with this SCP being called safe. It's definitely safe now. Why? Because I want to nuke Norway, and this is affecting Norway. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway. Bro, just... you can't nuke a fucking... You can't nuke a fuck. <sighs> Anyway. And of all the places, why Norway? <laughs> I don't know. I just chose a random country <laughs> and stuck with it. <laughs> anyway, the discovery yeah. had, had resulted in a destruction of a civilian fishing vessel. No crew member survived. The Foundation was alerted following reports of the whirlpool's size and alleged movement. The witnesses were administered class B anesthetics, and the incident was publicly declared the result of an iceberg collision. Despite Foundation efforts, SB 1823 has occurred the destruction of redacted known vessels and redacted fatalities since its discovery, largely due to, to unpredictability of the phenomenon. Attempts to, at disrupting the currents of SB 1823 are futile as this will cause the whirlpool to dissipate and reform elsewhere. Instructions from O5 Command prior to his further study of the anomaly with the aim of establishing neutralization protocols or more reliable containment procedures. That it? Yeah. Yeah, this is a certain groups. It's just a it's whirlpool that just, <laughs> just goes after it's, ships. <laughs> it's just a pissed off whirlpool that wants to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> Come to think of it, this might be like I, I like trying to link these SCPs to things that they might have been inspired by. This could actually be inspired by uh Kraken myths. Because mm. Kraken myths largely come from Scandinavia and there was they were said to, well, not largely, but especially originate in Scandinavia, and they were commonly described as being large enough to where they can dive and cause whirlpools to sink ships. So, in other words, this might just be a really angry kraken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Or oh, a really hungry one. Yeah. Uh... I sent a picture of the next SCP called A Mother's Son. I don't know whether I should be scared or horny. Hatchet. What? A bookworm bong hatchet. There's no children present. I'm free to say things. I know my rights. You're free to get bonked. Yeah, <laughs> bookworm okay. bong hatchet. <laughs> I see that. Anyway, on with the SCP. Words cannot describe how little I care about being bonked. I will be horny. You cannot silence me. <laughs> anyway, SCP. Yeah, you're not chew. Chew. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it is all right. SCP-1824 is a phenomenon manifesting as a graffiti design composed of red, black, and white spray paint. SCP-1824 has thus far only made its initial appearance in urban environments with a population density of 14,000 kilometers squared or higher in the contiguous United States, Mexico, and Canada. Wait, back up. What? What? Can... Did you mean continental? No, C O N T I G U O U S. Contiguous. Contiguous, yeah. Here, here. I am gonna. Uh, 
I was about to say, if that was continental U.S., that's just like a new low for you. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not that bad. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying they it would be missed... a new low. You said it had a D, right? No. C-O-N-T-I-G-U-O-U-S. Okay. One sec. I don't think I've ever heard that word. Hatchet is learning new words. Um, sharing, sharing, it means sharing a comment. So, I was just making sure because I didn't know if they misspelled it. Um, it means sharing a comment or, or touching. So, in other words, it's. In other I, words, it's. I just can't a... hear. One sec. One sec. I'm gonna. Uh, Disconnect for. Well, I'm gonna mute for a second so I can like hear this. Okay. Um. So in other words, it's just a weird way to say continental. Like it's literally just talking about the continental United States. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll continue further. The graffiti always manifests on ground level surfaces that are vertical or very nearly vertical. Vertical designs produced by SP eighteen twenty four are consistent in that they are always featured a wing winged human humanoid. Uh, oh wait, I read that wrong. Winged, uh, winged, <laughs> winged female humanoid. It is close to my bedtime. Fuck you. <laughs> And, and process a size of one meter by one meter or greater, removing or obscuring the graffiti does not prevent or alter SB 1824's effects. Right? 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 What? The word is pronounced. The word is pronounced contiguous. Okay. Anyway. All individuals that reside within the effective range of SB-1824 begin to exhibit symptoms similar to paranoid-type schizophrenia and will begin to experience delusions and hallucinations. Persons I have done nothing. Shush. Persons affected by these episodes describe a consistent figure, a oh dis God. destitute mother desperately attempting to provide for her child. Affected persons will attempt to provide food, money, and other resources to for this hallucination to the point of severe personal loss. After a period of approximately 45 to 60 days after SPCP 1824 initial appearance, the phenomenon will begin to increase the effective range of SP 1824 by 1 to 5 meters every 24 hours. This is marked by the appearance of additional graffiti of the same design in the extended area. This growth will continue until all available area with the, with the population density of approximately 7,000 7, per square kilometer or greater if is affected. It does not appear that SB1824 can expand through the areas with the population density lower than 7,000 per square kilometer. Though once manifested, it will persist until the area is fully depopulated. Each individual manifestation of SP-1824 appears to abate only when the area is completely devoid of human habitation. SP-1824 is not observed to generate multiple manifestations simultaneously, and occurrences are approximately 18 to 36 months apart. There you go. Mm. Fucking hell. It's a it's a graffiti painting that gives you schizophrenia. <laughs> no. Well, it did say it does that. It well, did it, not Oh no, similar. Similar to a paranoid type schizophrenia. That's right. It's similar. Uh, I I forgot I said the word similar. That's my bad. 
But yeah, like, it literally fucks with your head. And so then it there makes... could be continent. Well, no. I don't think there's a single continent that has that amount of population density consistently throughout. Mm. Like, even Japan, like, for instance, if that showed up in Tokyo, it'd wipe out most of Tokyo, but then it would stop because, well, the majority of other places aren't connected to Tokyo in that manner. This is an easy city. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It can, it, and it's, it, it's just fucking hell. Just give, give all, give, give all your money to, to the, to the fucking dying baby hallucination lady until you die. You know, you know, it's great that mm. hatchet. Mm. We're about to see an SCP we haven't seen in a long time. A joke SCP. Um. I guess that's well. As a real quick, uh, I'm just trying to like. Does it mention any type of containment procedures? Like, how the fuck do you deal with this? Like, this can wipe out an entire city. I'll go back to it. Like, do you have to just like destroy the graffiti? Let's see. What's the containment procedure? Should SCP-1824 be discovered, the Foundation is to designate the area as biologically or chemically contaminated, then evacuate, evacuate all individuals that inhibit inhibit the area. Evacuated individuals are... Inhabit. You, inhabit. You, Shut said, up. Shut you, up. Said it you said it correctly the first time, and then corrected yourself with a, with the wrong pronunciation. You said a Shut habit... Up. You said inhabit, and then you said inhibit. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. No. Evacuated individuals are to be housed at Foundation-controlled temporary housing until the manifestation has ended. Should SB-1824 enter the expansion state and total evacuation has not yet been ach achieved, a gas main explosion is to be emulated to expedite the this process. Due to the highly public nature of SB-1824, standard media blackout procedures are to be applied. Okay, so yeah, that makes a decent bit of sense for dealing with it. But, yeah, like, left unchecked, this could easily destroy a whole city. So, I think city is an appropriate place to put it at. Yeah. You ready to... You ready to hear the joke? What, your pronunciations? Fuck off. SCP-1830-J, <laughs> SCP also known as Opening Line. And uh, I'm going to just show, show you the picture I, I was given. I've got an opening line. What's with Bright's pronunciations anyway? <laughs> Shut up. Wait, what? Is this a picture of a black hole? What the fuck am I looking at? Wait, I don't what? know. Let's read it. Alright. Description. For all intents and purposes, SCP-1830-J is an anomaly affecting individuals which causes them to use over-the-top cliché turns of phrase in written documents as well as perceiving other documents to be under the thumb of SP-1830-J. In this day and age, it is estimated that redacted percent of the world's population is affected by SP-1830-J, but these could be just the tip of the iceberg. SP-1830-J is able to spread like wildfire and should be avoided like the plague. Tempting, tempting to convince victims that are affected by SCP-1830-J is like talking to a brick wall, as they believe SP-1830-J is the best thing since sliced bread. And administering standard intelligence tests suggest that there are a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Communication <laughs> with with victims what? also runs the what? risk of spreading SCP-1830-J 
as when you gaze into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. To the best of our knowledge, the origin of SB 1830-J was the mid-19th century England, when the turn of phrase redacted may be where it all began, although that could just be a shot in the dark. If SCB 1830-J is allowed to run rampant, it's plain as day that this would call would cause literature as an art f form to bite the dust. While there's no accounting for taste, works affected by SCP 1830-J are a far cry from readable, while the foundation foundation must count its blessings that no mass outbreak of SCP 1830-J has occurred. This may just be the calm before the storm. Addendum. It looks like we've had a wool pulled over our eyes. SB 1830-J was right under our noses this the whole time. I propose we lock this article once and for all so that we don't cause anyone else to trip up. All is well that ends well. It's a good thing that the rest of the database is safe as houses. Dr. Major. Why? This is spooked tier. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. <laughs> why did it? Why was I given this as a picture for this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it, you're staring into the abyss, and the abyss is staring back. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for the final SCP of the night, I think it makes sense if we end off with Bob. Oh, we reached Bob? Yes, we reached Bob. Hell yeah. Who's Bob? <laughs> well, I want to show you a picture. In a moment. Let's see a picture of Bob. Yep, yep, that's Bob. <laughs> He's a war criminal. Alright. <laughs> now let's see why this is a Keter. It's Bob. Of course it's a Keter. Lock him up. <laughs> Shut up. SCP 1838 is a food catering truck. The individuals that operate the vehicle and the food dis dispensed by it are designated SCP 1838 1 and SCP 1838 2, respectively. SCP 1838 is an unknown make and model. It its dimensions are. 1.4 meters by 2.3 meters by 7 meters, and the exterior is largely a pattern chrome. The left side of the truck is in, in blazoned, or blazoned, I don't know. Emblazoned. 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 With the words, Red, yeah. Red Bear Bob's Food Truck. SCP-1838. Red Bear Bob's. Yeah. Bob's a war criminal. SCP-1838 yeah. Dash 1 and Dash 2 have not demonstrated anomalous properties in their composition. Dash 1 is highly varied, demonstrating no distinct pattern in gender, age, or, or, or ethnicity, and while not aggressively or hostile towards Foundation interference, they remain secretive and vague regarding their personal facts. SCP-1838-2 Two generally consists of hamburgers, hot dogs, fried potatoes, fried chicken, and soft drinks. Hmm. If a war criminal, right. yeah. SCP-1838 <laughs> will manifest within roughly 100 kilometers of the site for a professional American football event in the United States. This will occur approximately 18 to 36 hours prior to the event's co commencement. This manifestation has never been directly observed. It is not clear whether this fact is attributed to the nature of the anomaly or not. The manner in which the phenomenon selects events is unclear, but it appears to prioritize those with greater media attention. Right. SCP. <laughs> Shut up. Pri <laughs> prioritize. Pri pri prioritize. Shut up. There you go. SCP-1838 <laughs> will then park and settle within the closest legal proximity to the event location. Within one hour of the commencement, SCP-1838 will, will enter an active state and, 
and dash 1 will begin to sell dash 2. 1838 will continue in a state until 10 to 20 minutes after the completion of the event. At this point, it will leave the area and disappear within 18 to 36 hours. This event was, has likewise never been directly observed. It is currently unclear how many entities of SP-1838 exist, though multiple simultaneous manif manifestations have not been observed. Details of SP-1838 and Dash-2 remain consistent throughout manifestations, though Dash-1 does not, save for bearing the same uniform, which is a, a white cotton shirt bearing the Red Bear Bob's Food Truck logo, blue denim pants, and black unmarked shoes. Hmm. Yeah. Any human being that consumes Dash 2 will become s subject to its anomalous effect. These individuals will refuse all nutrition that is not provided by the consumption of Dash 2, and they will express a longing for further consumption of said sub substance. If unprovoked violence occurs against Dash 1, a LISA event will occur. Numerous additional instances of, of Dash 1 will manifest via a doorway at the left rear interior of, of 1838 and will attack the responsible party. To date, these instances have been armed with wide variety of uh, improvised bludgeon, uh, bludgeon and bladed weapons. Bludgeoning. 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 Uh, and bladed weapons. Bludgeoning. Yeah, got it. Including crowbars, tire irons, baseball bats, fire axes, and knives. There have been no observable limit to the number of, of Dash 1 produced by a Lisa event, and said events only appear to subside when the responsible party is terminated. Additional Dash 1 pursuit produced by the event will retreat to SB 1838 3 following the event. Uh, yeah. You like Bob? I don't like Bob. He's a drug peddler. He's, <laughs> he's he sells his grody addictive food to kids and then then gets them hooked so that they come back for more and more until they die. Yeah, I, I assume they die. Because yeah. you know that Bob's definitely not making the highest quality products. So where do we put this? Because Foundation can't catch him. Oh yeah, no shit, it's a key. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that considering oh, some wow. of the other things we've seen. People mislabeling their SCPs, but... Yeah. I'd... Like... I'd say a certain group. I, mean, I would say certain group but at the same time, like it's not even that dangerous. It just gets you addicted to food to this weird food. Like, is there any like notable negative effects besides that? Uh not that I know notice. Hold on. I mean there are people talking about uh people being killed by a Lisa offense. Well yeah, but the Lisa of a event Falls around someone attacking the guy in the place. Right? Yeah. Yeah, attacking the person in the place. Yeah, and even said unprovoked. Like, in other words, it doesn't seem like that event would happen if, for whatever reason, the person running the, the food truck decided to hit someone. This yeah. is just... So yeah, no, like, the only way it would be dangerous if you literally just punched the dude. And he was like, alright, bitch. Time to die. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess, like, so, the big... Like, certain the group. Well, I, I guess would the... Be certain group. Oh, I still question that, because, like... This... Like, doesn't count as certain group if the only way it's dangerous is if it's reacting in self-defense? No... Well, I mean, with the food, it, like... Hold on, let me look back at the new food. Like, uh, does it cause, like, negative effects when you eat the food, other than being highly addictive and making you come I mean, back to otherwise, get food? Otherwise, then... 
refusing all nutrition that is not provided by the consumption of Dash 2. <sighs> That's it. I... I just uh, I... the question. Wait, did didn't that doesn't that like does don't those effects go away though? I don't think it. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's stated that it does or does it... not. I mean, it says that the that the vehicle okay. disappears, but it doesn't say anything about the <clears throat> the food uh, anomalous effect goes away. Doesn't say whether or not. Okay, so come to think of it. I think city would be appropriate. Because it mentions that there's no simultaneous uh, manifestations of these things. And if feasibly enough people ate at the stall and then it ended up like on some other end of the continent for forever. Those people might just end up starving. Depending if, depending on if, like, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And like the amount of people that would possibly like, eat at these things outside of a sporting event is, like, really high. Especially, like, the fact that, like, the actual food you get at a sporting event is, like, exploitatively expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh, I think city's appropriate. Bob gets into the city. Wait, maybe we should put him elsewhere. We don't want him in the city. <laughs> Wait, so the next SAP, it is Keter, but it's explained. Which means we know everything about it. I see. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hmm. <laughs> Bob... <laughs> uh, Bob was always in the city. The city is good for business. Fair? That's fair. <laughs> Wait, the what? The fuck? What's the name of this SCP? Uh, uh, Listomania. Listomania. Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on. It went from so. Yu no, hold on. Franz it list. No, it's. I, I will. I'll go back to see the thing. But I decided to see the object class. It went from Euclid to neutralize to Euclid to Keter to explained. <laughs> what? The author couldn't tell which they wanted, but no, it's uh, L I S Z T O mania. Yeah, list it's listomania. So so okay. Franz Liszt was a com was a composer and master pianist who had such huge hands that he could like literally like play at least 13 uh thirteens on a piano. Wow. Yeah. Which is like an octave plus five notes. If you're, if you ever want to see how big that is, try putting your hands up to a piano and like stretching them. Like, yeah, he's he's a composer who like is known for his works being very hard. Yeah. And he's an SCP. <laughs> no, the mania surrounding him is an SCP. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, actually, no, that makes sense. So, like, they're... Okay. Um, 
Okay, so like we actually talked about this in the history class, but like mm. list. So list whenever he played every like. So you know how like girls get like with people uh, with like how well like how fan girls get with like uh with famous bands right mm-hmm. yeah uh i'd say probably imagine that and multiply it by 10 for a list potentially damn should we just do the music themed and SVP while Aderna's here in case they aren't here for the next one? Well, I, I have to actually get to bed for work tomorrow, so nah. I, I don't have time for it. Black. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to hey, at least you oh, at least um... you got a little bit of a background then. Yeah. Like yeah. An understanding of who of what list who list is and what this is talking about. We could, I mean, e. we could like skip it until Adorna gets in, then we read it. That's an idea. Like, if Adorna's not there at the start of the next one, yeah, which will be tomorrow oh. night. Then I'll have two days off for um, editing, and then I get to. Stream the game I really want to play, Pokemon Violet. What? Why did back? I'm Ooh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Back up. Mm-hmm. Why did you say editing like that? Like it was editing? something. Yeah, yeah. Why did you say editing like it was like something scandalous? Like, and Edity. then I, to, the next two days I have to do editing. Mm, editing. <laughs> editing. <laughs> I have to edit these YouTube videos. Yeah, anyway. Um <laughs> I'm gonna edit the fuck out of these YouTube videos. <laughs> Imagine editing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, you better. Oh you edit them videos good, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> but versus not uploading them raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah edit those videos baby you gotta keep 